friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you for returning back here to watch my videos. But if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. It is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So dear friends, in our today's video, Bella, why is that I'm not finding love on online dating apps? I have tried lots of dating apps that I have lost the count, <laughs> but still I come across men who want me to be naked in front of the camera, men who ask me for nude photos, men who ask me to do phone sex. Those are the only guys that I meet on online dating apps even after using all your tips because i've been watching all your videos and i implement the advice that you give while i am on online dating apps where am i going wrong please bella help me out so i have been receiving comments on the comment section here on youtube you guys asking me this question also on instagram i've been receiving dms you guys asking me this question and that is why today i am here to talk about it to discuss it with you so that we can find the solution <laughs> yes why is that you are not finding love on online dating apps you are not finding that right guy that you are searching for on online dating apps so that will be our video today and without wasting much of your time let us jump into the video reason number one to why you are not finding love on online dating apps it's because you don't know how to use online dating apps or online dating sites i've been seeing this when you guys come on my dm to ask me questions i ask you questions too and through your response that is when i discover that you have no idea on how to use that dating app that you are using but you are there complaining i've been on this dating app for two years but girl do you know how it operates that is why i did a video here i told you guys that when you join a dating app before using it please try to find out how it operates when you know how that dating app or dating site operates it will help you move easily when you are on that dating app or dating site. It will help you know how to use different features. And when you know how to use different features, it increases your chances to find the one. That's the secret. Even the stories that I've been sharing here, the ladies that have succeeded on online dating apps, it's because they knew how to use that particular dating app that they found love. So if you know you are using a dating app right now, but you don't know very well how it operates, it's time to find out. I'm also preparing a video to guide those who are just starting, you know? <laughs> their online dating journey on how to use online dating apps but you using a dating app for a year two years and you don't know how it operates of course you won't find the one you will keep on being like i'm not finding the one i'm not finding the one so you know the secret now let's continue i am still on point number one you not knowing how to use online dating apps so to add on you not knowing how to use online dating apps, some of you, I believe, because I've been seeing this, you are on online dating apps and you don't know what a free version means. You have been coming and asking me again and again. I did a video, but unfortunately, you guys don't want to watch these kind of videos. You only want story times. <laughs> And same, same people that ask me what's a free version, you ask me when you see a title, story time, she found love on online dating apps, Bella, what is the name of the dating app? My intention to share the success stories is not to share the name of the dating app. And that is why I've been mentioning the name of the dating app at the end of the video. 
because you knowing the name of the dating app, you don't know the journey the couple passed through. The red flags, if you remember example Nala's story, whereby the first guy was full of red flags. <laughs> so if you don't watch a video like that and you come ask for the name of the dating app, you get the name of the dating app, you go on online dating apps, you start searching and then comes same same guy full of red flags but you don't know what are those red flags you should look into you will end up in tears you will stay on online dating apps for so long without finding anyone so my advice here watch that video about free version so that you can understand what's a free version it's really going to help you very very much trust me lastly on you not knowing how to use online dating apps some of you wait to be found i've been singing and singing and singing if you want to find love you can't just put your profile out there and abandon it be like i'm just going to wait until men find me do something if you don't want to approach men maybe you are shy or that's your principle please try to browse through men's profile give some likes winks smiles <laughs> i told you about these guys because once you do that men get to find you please please also if you are someone who is on afro introduction whereby you can change the location where you want your man to come from. Keep changing and send likes, send those first messages, change different countries so that you can be found easily. We know exist lots of women <laughs> on Afro introduction. The competition is very, very high. So sometimes a guy might not find your profile. What I'm asking you is make it easy for the right man to find you. Don't just be there and be like, I've not received any message on this dating app. It doesn't work. I've been here for months and months and nothing. I'm even thinking of deleting it. Do something, please, please. When you do something, then that way you will find the one. Guys, I'm sharing all this because I know what I'm talking about due to the experience that I have. Even there is a story to come. A lady found love on online dating apps and when she was telling me the story, told me, Bella, I was the one that sent him a message first. So imagine if that lady had just stayed like this. <laughs> waiting to receive a message from a guy it couldn't have happened <laughs> so guys please please if you want to find love on online dating apps do the right thing and stop complaining reason number two to why you're not finding love on online dating apps you are using the wrong dating apps <laughs> guys i don't know i've been seeing you guys coming i don't know how many times when I ask you, what kind of dating app are you using? I'm using Date My Age. I'm using Dating.com. I'm using Euro Dating. And you are there excited. The guy is so good. He's telling me this. He's telling me that. Those are wrong online dating apps. The good thing, I always take my time to explain to you things into details. If you listen to me, guys, you'll never find yourself in the wrong dating app. Because once you use the wrong dating app, yes, of course, you can stay even five years on that dating app without finding any serious guy. I told you, when you are using a dating app and they start asking you credits, pay as you chat you should leave that dating app immediately and first of all you shouldn't pay for a dating app if you are a woman <laughs> use the free version you will find love 99 percent of women who have found love on online dating apps they are using those dating apps for free on a free version so please wake up i know exist ladies who believe that they can find love on online dating apps if they pay <laughs> it's time to remove that mentality even if you are financially stable do not pay for a dating app i explained to you why you shouldn't pay for a dating app because you're not listening to me 
That is why you find yourselves in wrong dating apps that will not give you a serious guy, that will not give you a perfect match. They will bring a guy to you who will make sure you go broke. Another thing I want to add on using wrong online dating apps, because when I chat with you, Bella, I am using almost 15 dating apps. How can one woman <laughs> manage all those 15 dating apps seriously how can you manage them i told you use three dating apps for three months see how it goes if everything goes well you find love within those three months that's fine we thank god but if it doesn't happen delete all of them then take another three try them for three months if it doesn't work delete try another three using this method trust me you will eventually find the right one it's time you guys get to listen to me you can't be watching my videos and then you are using 10 dating apps all at once or five dating apps all at once that is confusing yourself you can't concentrate well you can't search the right way you will end up only wasting your time so this too might be the reason to why you are not finding love on online dating apps reason number three to why you're not finding love on online dating apps your online dating profile i've done a video here on how to work on your online dating profile but still you ladies don't listen and some of you you watch my videos but you go and do as you want <laughs> even i remember there is a lady who came to me we talked i was like okay join my channel membership i'm gonna help you on your online dating profile and everything good yes she paid after that i started telling her on what to do <laughs> even on how to approach men so as i was telling her she responded was like but bella won't i look desperate <laughs> is this necessary <laughs> i told her girl it is very very necessary writing a disclaimer on your bio it is very necessary a serious guy will know that you are not in to play games so he will take you seriously <laughs> and on sending that first message was like i will look desperate i was like you won't look desperate do as i say cause was complaining she's not receiving any messages on online dating apps so after trying what i told her you won't believe <laughs> She came to me the next morning, very happy. Bella, I've started to receive messages. Men are responding to me. Oh my God, it worked. You were right. I told her, girl, I know what I'm talking about. So dear ladies, work on your profile. If you updated your profile, let's say three months ago, it's time to update it again keep updating that profile keep uploading new photos after two weeks delete the photos that are in there upload new ones attractive beautiful photos work a bit you know on that bio change some words because when you put in some efforts on your online dating profile trust me you will start to see changes you will see the results reason number four to why you are not finding love on online dating apps i've been hearing this from men who are using online dating apps and even from ladies who chat with men on online dating apps if you remember last story about ian when he was telling us his experience on online dating apps said that some women did not understand him did not understand his situation whenever he could disappear you know to work on his goals comes back to talk to them they could start fights but leticia understood him was very calm and asked him how can we work on your schedule so that we can keep on communicating so most men have been complaining that you ladies are very aggressive <laughs> when you are on online dating apps the way you respond on online dating apps 
has been a problem it's making you not finding love i don't know you all guys <laughs> talk to yourself and ask yourself am i aggressive <laughs> When I chat with these men on online dating apps, guys, it's not that I'm judging you, not at all. I totally understand you due to the bad experience you have got on online dating apps. It's making you be aggressive. Whenever a guy writes you a message, sometimes you don't even read it very careful. <laughs> you jump into a conclusion thinking the guy is just a player like any other. So it's time to show your good qualities you should be understanding if you write on your bio that i am very understanding i am a very calm lady i am so friendly <laughs> but when a guy writes you a message he doesn't see any understanding in you he doesn't see any calmness in you some of you want to push things immediately you want things to happen so fast if you remember i talked of tiktok girls you were on tiktok you watched these ladies you know showcasing how they found their white men on online dating apps you get pressured when you receive a message from a guy he is kind to you very nice taking his time to get to know you but you want things to go fast you start pressuring this guy in that case he will see that you are very aggressive so please dear beautiful ladies let's be good women let's portray what we wrote on our bio <laughs> your bio should look exactly as you are know someone reading your bio everything is good good then coming to chat with you finds a totally different person your bio should match your character if you do that you will find love on online dating apps reason number five to why you are not finding love on online dating apps i am talking to madam i am busy <laughs> Guys, if you know that you are very, very busy, you can't put in some efforts on online dating apps, you don't have time to be on online dating apps at least three times a week, I advise you to quit. Cause this is the same when you chat with a guy now and then he disappears for two months then he returns to you when he returns to you of course you will have lots of doubts and you will think the guy is not serious same same as you you chat with a guy disappear for a month two months then return he will think you are not serious and even the guys that sent you messages that day that you were online and maybe you logged out people continue to send you messages when you return after a month if you try to respond to them don't expect good results some might not respond to you yes because they see you are not serious stop complaining that you are not finding love on online dating apps but look at the way you are using these dating apps for god's sake if you tell yourself that i am very busy <laughs> i can't stay on online dating apps i'll be able to log in one time a month better not join because <laughs> you are going to keep your expectations very very high and i'm here to tell you even if you put your expectations very very high but if you are madam busy it's gonna be very difficult for you to find love talk to yourself you know yourself if you are madam i am busy <laughs> so to add on madam i am busy there is this second type Bella, I am very frustrated. I am very disappointed with these online dating apps. Online dating apps exist only scammers. Ladies who have found love, it was those years. <laughs> Whereby, guys, I've been sharing stories that happened even recently. Not stories of 10 years or 20 years ago. No, this year. <laughs> But still, you are like, those who found love were those years when online dating apps was a good place. I'm telling you, even those ladies that found love 15 years ago, there were people who were discouraging them, telling them the same thing, that 
dating apps is not now it was five years ago or ten years ago right now dating apps is not the safe place to be you can't find a genuine guy on online dating apps <laughs> So you come with your attitude on the comment section or on my Instagram. Bella, I am very frustrated, disappointed. I don't want to continue with online dating apps. Actually, I have given up. What do you advise me? <laughs> so with an attitude like that, trust me, you're not giving me any positive vibe to help you out. Because guys, we have to be honest. I've been honest with you. As much as I want you guys to find love on online dating apps, but it's not that important to me as it is to you. And you need to put that into your mind. You are the only one who knows why you are looking for love on online dating apps. No one is going to help you if you don't help yourself. So if you decide to give up, that's up to you. You have decided to give up on your dream. Don't put lots of expectations to other people help you find love. Some of you are like, Bella, connect me. Online dating apps does not work. Seriously, guys, if I had that opportunity to connect you, I don't think I could be here spending lots of time trying to help you find love on online dating apps because it's the only place that I believe you have the potential to find the one. But where you go wrong is when you believe that online dating apps does not work, other people will help you find love. That's when you go and pay people to connect you to a white man and eventually they eat your money. <laughs> tell you to pay again so that they can connect you please dear beautiful ladies no one is going to help you i am a sister who really loves you so so much genuinely but you have to push yourself fast and i've seen ladies i have lots of examples they come to me they're like bella Things have been really hard, but I'm telling you, I am not here to give up. If you have any tips, please help me out so that I achieve what I am looking for. And I like that spirit. That's the spirit that I want. Not a lady that comes on the comment section, I have given up. I've deleted all dating apps. Oh, Bella, what do you advise me? I don't believe anymore in these dating apps. I'm not here to force you guys. You are the one that knows what you want. I will tell you what I believe is right, what I believe will help you find love. So if you go with that spirit on online dating apps, you have given up, but still you have not decided to delete dating apps, a guy writes to you, you are still negative. So you are going to respond this guy in a negative way and he will sense it then ignore you or block you chat with a lady who is calm a lady who believes that it's gonna happen no matter what reason number six to why you are not finding love on online dating apps now i am talking to madame with my situation bella i don't think i'll ever be able to find love on online dating apps some of you are like, with my age, I am in my 50s, I am in my 40s, I don't think I can find any man who will want to date me. I am too old. Some of you, I have two kids. Who will take a woman who has got two kids? I don't think it's going to work for me. Whereby, I know ladies who have found love with lots of kids. Even our next story that I was supposed to tell you today... It's a lady who had six kids, one, two, three, four, five, six kids, and found the guy who genuinely loves her and her kids. If you remember, I posted on my Instagram this story about this lady. It's coming very, very soon. So you find a lady has got two kids and is telling you, hmm, I cannot find love because I've got two kids. Online dating men don't like responsibilities. They like ladies who are single. I think those are the only ones who have got the chance to find love. <laughs> Or some of you come and be like, Bella, I don't have a degree. I don't have masters. I did not study. I don't speak good English. Who will take me? I don't think I can find the one. You criticize yourself. Why are you doing that to yourself, dear beautiful ladies? 
you have got someone who has got enough experience guys i interact with ladies of all kind you guys that are still searching but also ladies that have found love already they are married so when i tell you you can't find love on online dating apps no matter your size i mean it and i believe it that yes you can find love even if you are plus size even if you are petite and some men have been telling you that you have a small body like a baby you will still find that right man that will really adore you no matter your size no matter the way you look those who talk about education I told you while you are on online dating apps even if you did not go to school but if you know how to communicate you will find love we have seen lots of stories whereby a man didn't know how to speak english but they used google translator and eventually got married same as you if a guy is really interested in you he likes you so much he has got that strong push that is pushing him to keep knowing you even if there is a bit of language barrier you will overcome it so you will find love stop criticizing yourself i've got lots of examples even recently there is a photo i shared on instagram stories of a lady who got married that lady's story she was a single mother who suffered a lot a lot guys she could cry and tell me bella i don't believe i will find love i think god is not hearing my prayer but when god's time came she found love after five years and she was so happy told me bella do you still remember you really helped me very very much you kept on encouraging me because i could keep telling her keep believing in god just wait for god's time you will find the one and the reason why i could encourage her it's because i've been through that situation no i've never been a single mother but i told you i know someone very close to me who is a single mother and when it comes to life situation life can really give you a slap on your face i went through that if you didn't know i lost my parents when i was very very little lost my mom when i was nine years old lost my dad when i was 15. i became very independent at a very young age guys if you think that your situation is the worst i am here to tell you it's not the worst you will find love at some point yes i was very desperate at some point yes i was very broke but i never gave up so i am here to tell you do not give up do not criticize yourself keep believing in yourself keep believing that god's time is the best once you believe in yourself once you put trust in god you will find love reason number seven to why you are not finding love on online dating apps is because you have failed to keep the right guy why is that it's because you don't know how to differentiate a serious guy and a guy who is not serious that's where you go wrong when you receive a message from a guy try to study him use all your tricks to make sure a guy opens up and of course if a guy is really interested in you he's going to open up on you once the guy opens up to you that helps you to understand that guy better and know how to play your cards know your next move with that guy but if you're not attentive when that guy opens up and treat him just like any other guy <laughs> because you are convinced in your mind that the guy is just like you know others you are going to lose him always study a guy you are chatting to i told you on online dating apps exist men who have gone through lots of bad experiences in their relationships and there are some things they are looking for into a woman so once you listen to him you will know how to show those things that he is looking for into his future wife i hope with this you understand me and to add something on this any dating app that you will join i'm talking of genuine dating app you have to keep it in mind that exist good men and bad men 
it's like that it's up to you to notice who is serious and who is not serious that is why you need lots lots of information you have to do a research which will help you while you are on online dating apps so when you find a channel like this please try to learn or if you find any other channel that is talking about online dating then try to get something that will help you out reason number eight to why you are not finding love on online dating apps i've seen this a lot in most black african women but i think maybe it's because due to the mentality that we have back home so you find a lady is writing that that dating app is full of old guys only old guys have been writing to me messages i am not interested when you ask her how old are you she'll tell you i am and the guy is 48 and 48 i think that's an old guy in swahili we call them babu <laughs> i can't date a 48 years old guy because that's too old for me in her mind once a guy that is maybe two years older than her or five years maximum older than her if someone comes he is seven years older than her 10 years older than her 12 years older than her she will ignore him what i'm telling you i've been also getting this from ladies who have found love on online dating apps they are telling you you should be open-minded and from the experience too guys especially here in europe a 48 years old guy is not a babu <laughs> he's not a grandpa <laughs> he is still young even a 50 years old guy he is very very young and it's time when he is enjoying his life to the fullest yes this is the truth an old guy here in europe starts when you are 70 but a 48 years old guy a 50 years old guy is not a grandpa <laughs> it's not that old but if you are 20 and the guy is 50 then we have a problem there <laughs> so i am advising you not to be so strict when it comes to the age, especially when the guy is, example, 10 years older than you, 12 years older than you, 7 years older than you, if he is a good guy, I think you should give him a chance. You can make a very good family. But if you keep on ignoring them, who knows, that guy that you ignored, he was 10 years older than you, maybe he was the one. Maybe it's what God wants for you. So please Please think about it i'm not trying to push you date older guys no we have talked about this if you remember but i've seen it's kind of a problem you guys are exaggerating when it comes to the age if he is 48 years and is physically fit why not and loves you so much adores you he has got everything that you ever wanted in a man go for it guys i have an example and then we end this when i started dating my husband there is a lady i knew and this lady was dating a guy who was the same age as she was a white guy the lady was black from tanzania so one day we were chatting and she told me yeah today i was talking to my boyfriend i showed him your photo and the photo of your husband my boyfriend was like oh my god such a beautiful lady but married to an old guy <laughs> i laughed a lot it did not offend me actually because i am crazily in love with my husband so no matter what you say it enters here and <laughs> goes like that so i told her oh really but deep inside me i knew those words were not coming from the boyfriend they were coming from her <laughs> so later the guy abandoned her she suffered very very much and i was actually there for her because i don't keep grudges i'm someone who ignores things easily they go just like that i'm that kind of a person so i was there for her in her low time and i kept on encouraging her actually i helped her join online dating apps and after three years she found love but guess what guys found love with a guy who is 30 years older than her 
but was the same same lady who said that <laughs> my hubby was way too older than me and we don't have an age gap of 30 years old so guys i am here trying to give you this example so that you can learn something when it comes to the age right now you are refusing a guy who is let's say seven years older than you or 10 years older than you and maybe later you will find yourself with a guy who is 25 years older than you, 30 years older than you. Yes. So please guys, let's be clever. Let's be open-minded. Even you guys that have got a mentality that your boyfriend should be tall, very handsome, looks are so important to you. I'm here to tell you looks are not all that important. A guy's heart, how he treats you, how he loves you matters a lot. I have to end it here i don't want it to be so long like a story time no so thank you so much guys for watching this video till now god bless you i really appreciate much please give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video please don't forget to subscribe join the family thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao